How you doing? This is Yaakov here with a continuation of the series part five in Restore My Soul. Okay, again, this is a, um, a beautiful series on how to connect, reconnect to God and also to be able to connect to God properly with, uh, with, uh, with the proper mindset that we need. So last time we were reiterating that... Uh, uh, so I say this time we're going to reiterate what we learned last time, which is that basically that ev- the real great men of the age, the true sages of the age, the people that are alive even today, the highest, the greatest people, they can find the goodness and be able to draw it out of every of every individual. Who has who has it there? And so so long as you're willing to be able to focus and be able to give your attention to the right to the right people, you know, try to cultivate the right friends, the right the right teachers, you're going to be able to have the good that you have within you drawn out, because that's the whole point. You have good. Everybody has good within you. You need to draw it out. It's not something you're trying to take from somebody. It's right, something you're trying to be able to reveal to help the person reveal. But through them, Hashem is good also. Not just not just through us alone, but through everyone. Everyone that wants. So so basically, we're going to start part five right now. Part five begins right here. When a man, when a person, when a human has to write, has to rise from one level to the next in their serving service of God, prior to their ascent, they want you want to go to the next level, like Mar. From level one to level two, right? You got to be the boss, right? So it's interesting, actually, that we could see it. So it kind of works the opposite way. I'll tell you. I'll tell you what I mean by that. In in Mario, or not usually the video games that people play, the beginning of the level. I can't believe I'm using this, but the beginning of the level. You know, any, anything that anything that works. Beginning of the level when you play Mario is the easiest, and at the end, it's, it's the hardest. At the end, it's the hardest. So. Oftentimes, how it's true, it it is, it is the hardest at the end of each level. However, in in Kabbalah, in in uh, Hasidut, in we in in uh, we call it in the esoteric aspects of the Torah, the deeper aspects of the Torah begins, shows by saying that yeah, the beginning is difficult just to start. The beginning is difficult just to start. However, at the end, uh, when you finish, sorry, the beginning is the is the difficulty. And at the end, you know, you start seeing everything. You can see everything. But the beginning is the difficulty. When you start from the, fl- the bottom floor, imagine the beginning of, of a person is by the floor, right? You see their feet, okay? And by the feet is all the dust and all the dirt and all the, the, the nasty things that you, you're happy that you're kind of like, you know, several feet tall because you're kind of away from touching the dirty floor. Even though you have to clean it, even though you have to do whatever you have to do, you know, the shmutz, the dirt is on the floor. So when the person begins, I'll pick Kabbalah, same thing here. Like so too, in, 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 uh, you see in earth, also in heaven and vice versa. You see a person, the, the beginning of a person is their feet. That's where all the dirt is. That's where all the schmutz is. That's where all the unclean things are. The beginning of a person is by the feet. That's where a person begins. And there, a person has to deal with at the beginning. You want to enter the service of God, so you have to deal with certain difficulties at the beginning, actually. Okay? And then when you reach the highest point of that level, so you feel wonderful, you feel great. And then the next beginning of the next level, okay? So imagine... You know, you go from your foot all the way to your head. Your head is like a wonderful place. Everything is very wonderful. Your, your perspectives on life are great. Okay, and then on the next level is basically above your head. And imagine another pair of feet right here. And then again, another head all the way on top. And then another foot on top of his head. And so on and so forth. Okay, that's how the levels work. And each new level, you have to begin with the schmutz, with the dirt again. That's why we're gonna read right here what, what's happening here. This is a uh, Kabbalah. This is a uh, this is Kabbalah practical Kabbalah 101, and this is what everybody's going through in life. People don't know about it, but this is really what's going on. Sometimes why it looks like you're succeeding, and then it looks like you failed afterwards. So we're gonna go through that. So basically, before a person.
Okay. Before a person goes as an in a sense, in an ascent, when a person rises to the next level, they must first undergo a descent. Okay? So to speak. The paradox is that the very purpose of the des- of the descent is the ascent. From this you can see how much strength is required in the service of God, even when you fall or descend in any way, or it looks like you descended in any way, you must never allow yourself to be thrown off balance to the extent that you come to look down upon yourself or hold yourself in contempt and you're and you're your own worst enemy. You don't even need an enemy, you're the own worst enemy. You know? Do you believe the evil inclination that he told you you're so bad and that you're that you're never gonna succeed? So then it says here that you, you should refuse to dwell on the matter even momentarily, even. Even if you do for one moment, move on. It's not going to help you. Don't, don't look down on yourself. Don't, don't be hypercritical yourself. Regardless of what happens to you, in the end, you will find that all of your descents will be turned into great ascents, a great, great achievements, because the purpose of the descent in the first place, why has God created everything God created with wisdom? It's a very famous Pasuk sentence coming from our sages, coming from the Torah, coming from the Tanakh. So, so we find here that uh, what was the purpose of creating a descent? A person feels like they're, 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 they fell from their levels of spirituality is for the purpose of the ascent. That's why Hashem made it. For the pur- everything is made for the purpose of drawing close to God. And it's not, God forbid... Even when it looks like God is, God is not doing that, He looks like He's pushing a person away, it's for the sake of drawing close. We will see this in the upcoming um, paragraphs as well. This point needs a lot of emphasis because everyone who experiences a spiritual fall imagines, emotional fall, imagines that this idea was never intended to refer to their particular case. They think it applies only to people on the highest planes who are perpetually climbing from level to level. You should know and have faith that in truth, all these words were spoken with even the worst and most insignificant of men in mind because God is good to everyone. He's good to all. As it's written in Lakutim Run Lesson 22. And he's bringing uh, this, th- these ideas down, explaining these ideas. That we have to understand as basically it's like this. There's a train right here, right? There's a train. And it goes 20 miles an hour. And there's another train that goes 5 miles an hour. Even though the train that goes 20 miles an hour will be is four times is going is four times faster than that than that train, okay? It, it's true, but at the end of the day, the one who's going slow is still as long as the, as, the, as it's still running, it's gonna go also past the places where the one who's able to go four times that fast is gonna go. So even though the four times is fast, has accomplished many times faster even than the guy than the train who's going five miles an hour the one who's going five miles an hour as long as he didn't give up is still gonna pass all the places that the 20 miles an hour passed okay even though the 20 miles an hour went faster meaning that a person could say because the person's so great so 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 maybe so because a person might be on the uh, on the on a plane of being so so high, we look at them as such such a great person, such an amazing person. So okay, so when they grow to the next level, their hardships mean that uh, they went to the next level. And for me, when my heart, when I have hardships in my life, even though I saw good things that God was there for me and amazing things happen, when I go to the next level, when I have hardships, it's because I deserve it. It's because I have hardships. Because stop, I have hardships. I just have hardships, and 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 it's not like the hardships of a person who's trying to grow. It's not true. A person who's trying to seriously grow. Every person, no matter who, no matter what, 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 is going through the levels. Has to go from one level to the next. Everyone has to go from one level to the next. And when you're on the foot of the certain plane that you're on the foot of the plane, the beginning of the plane, it's where the, the dirt is. Okay, that's where, that's where the difficulties are. That's where the confusions lie, like darkness. And when you rise up to the highest part of that level, you feel, uh, wow, like you're on top of the world. You feel amazing. You feel like you've accomplished tremendous things. As you go through all the, all the pl- places on that plane, it's like passing through a mall. I pass through one part of, or passing through, a, yeah, I pass from one part of the mall to another part of the mall. So I'm going from one level to another level, 
everybody's growing. It doesn't matter how slow or how fast. As long as you don't give up, you're going you're gonna to pass all the places and you're going to continue to grow. You're going to see that it also has to do with you too. No matter how slow you're moving like a turtle, okay, but slow and steady runs the race. Okay? And it doesn't matter how big or how small you view yourself or how other people view you, we're all going through this process of achieving, of, grow, of learning to grow through the difficulties, then achieving wonderful things, and then going through more difficulties and recognizing we're beginning, we're growing to new levels, even though it looks like you have the same confusions and doubts as you did on the previous, previous level or last year or last week. You're continuously growing. God's helping you grow, especially in this generation. We, all the different tests that people are going through constantly, then they're passing, then they're failing, then they're passing, then they're failing to look up and down. And down, and down. You, you're not supposed to look down on yourself. You're supposed to realize this is a process of going from one level to the next. And it's how you deal with the downs, how you deal with going to the next level, at the beginning of that level, how to fall and how to deal with that, uh, the difficulties. And that's going to help you also determine how quickly you're going to be able to, to recover, to move up to the higher places and then to the next level and to, to recognize what's going on in each place. That where am I at? Oh, I'm at, I'm at the test portion. It feels like I'm schmutz. I feel like the same doubts are coming into my head. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. It's normal. Don't look down on yourself. It's normal. It's healthy. And it means that you're growing. And you just, you just need to be able to find the right advice to be able to look how to look on that place that you're at dealing with the tests again and the schmutz and the doubts and the same desires that you already thought you conquered just keep on growing it's a part of the process don't look down on yourself and we're going to continue um, very soon doesn't matter how great you are you can grow doesn't matter whether it's a turtle whether you're a turtle whether you're a rabbit whether, doesn't matter how fast you're going to go and growth start you could start somewhere Hashem will help you don't worry about it don't worry about it so have a beautiful day, and I uh, hope looking uh, looking forward to part six. And uh, it was a pleasure. Hope everybody enjoys, and uh, it's growing.